The Adirondack Commission was very important. I think it's hopefully saved the Adirondacks because it was going to be a mess if we didn't have a state level zoning. We were, you know, trying to protect a very sensitive area of, of the country, six million acres. That taught me a lot of people skills that I utilized later on in the practice of law. It was a great experience. The work I did as a lawyer at the Hush Blackwell Law Firm in St. Louis, Missouri, where I practiced for over 40 years, it was uh, challenging and fulfilling. I enjoyed every minute of it. Law school is very challenging. It uh, teaches you how to think and how to analyze, which was, in terms of growth as a person and as a lawyer, was a great experience. So the first semester, here I am doing what they told me to do, read the cases and outline the cases and summarize the cases and do all this work. But after that, I figured things out and uh, did very well at the school. Professor Anderson, who ended up being dean, he was a great mentor and a good friend. Working on all the, the writing of the reports as an intern when he was writing the American Law of Zoning, which led to my job with the Adirondack Commission, actually. Now my son, too, is a professor in the Maxwell School, and to have my son be so concerned about the environment and uh, also being a trailblazer himself on the climate change issue is edifying, for sure. Without the College of Law and Bob Anderson, who's recommended me for the Adirondack Commission job, all of that led to the rest of my career. I'd like to thank the association, and Richard Levy in particular, I'd like to thank my family for being here tonight. I'm very honored to receive this award. <laughs>